morning students uh, today i will talk about the quality control of bread making you know quality control of any food product is very very important because it helps to keep the production running smoothly and efficiently quality ensure that the finished product is according to the predetermined specifications there are various kinds of ingredients which have to be tested in case of bread making to ensure good quality first of all you know that uh, the main important ingredient for bread making is flour then you use the yeast packaging material these are the three most important ingredients which are to be tested for quality before going ahead with the bread making there are other ingredients also but these three are very important and these are generally uh, mean uh, assessed and they are analyzed in the lab for various characteristics so first of all we take up flour what we look in the flour number 1 is appearance that is very very important we go for the color by visual inspection we can find out whether the flour is having desirable color or not then there are certain equipment also to measure the color and packer color test is done in the lab for the uh, color and it should be creamish in color if it is dark in color we should not use that kind of flour for bread making because you will have a darker crust and you will find you can find some impurities in the bread also and you will not get a desirable blue in the bread then water absorption percentage of the flour that is also very important how much water is required by the wheat flour while making the dough for bread if the dough requires a flour requires less water that means that flour is soft wheat flour and that is not desirable for bread it should be from the hard wheat flour so that it has good water absorption percentage generally the flour should have 62 to 64% water absorption uh, percentage and you know the method how we do the water absorption percentage in the lab you have already done it then next we analyze moisture content in the flour it is a very important parameter too less and too high moisture content in the flour is also not required if the flour is having more moisture you will get less yield of the product and that is not desirable that is not economical for the baker similarly if it is having less moisture then also you are not going to get good product and the you know the method uh, for moisture content and you have already done moisture content of the flour in the practicals therefore i will not go into the detail of the method then gluten content we have to analyze that how much gluten is present in the wheat flour you know that as such gluten is not present in the flour gluten is developed only when you add water to the flour and you do the kneading then gluten is developed from the gliadin and glutenin present in the wheat flour and for this also you know the method for how we do the wet gluten uh, analysis or dry gluten analysis and uh, you should know the practical uh, you can know the formula etc from the practical class next is the ash content mineral content in the flour and mineral content if the mineral content is high then again it is not required it is not a good characteristic you will not get bread of the good color crust will not be good if ash content is more you will get a darker color of the crust which is uh, not liked by the customers therefore it should have the ash content within the prescribed limits about 0.46% then we also do alcoholic acidity test 
the flour which has been stored for a very long time they will give higher alcoholic acidity test what is this test this test is an index of deterioration the flour has undergone during storage if the alcoholic acidity test is positive and the value is high then we do not use that flour similarly acid insoluble ash this tells us about the amount of silica matter which is present in the flour and this is due to improper cleaning of the wheat prior to milling and this acid insoluble ash should not be more than 0.05% in the flour these are some of the test which we do before uh, mean uh, taking up the bread making from the flour granular test is also done and uh, these are some of the important tests which we which any baker should get them done in the lab before using that wheat flour to have good quality bread then comes the packaging material packaging material you know that uh, important for bread making and uh, from the packaging material the consumer assesses whether the bread inside is good or not if it is of packaging material is of good quality printing has been done nicely well labeled you will find that the customer will be attracted toward that uh, bread and to grammage test is done for gsm test to um, for this uh, packaging material and uh, then another is a wax test which is done for the packaging material then comes the yeast yeast is very very important without it you cannot make bread and the yeast should be fresh or it should be active and to know about it we carry out the dough raising capacity test and pop up test these are the few tests to know whether the yeast which is being used in bread making that is good or bad we should use that or we shouldn't go ahead with that these were the tests which are done in the raw ingredients to be used for bread making then another category of tests that is the testing of the final finished product you have prepared the bread using these ingredients now what kind of bread you have got what are the external characteristics of that bread what are the internal characteristics of that bread from those characteristics we can assess the quality of the bread external characteristics uh, uh, you mean the volume color of the crust evenness of the bake whether there is break and shreds or not what is the character of the crust all these are included in the external characteristics then you slice the bread and you look for the internal characteristics first of all the characteristic of loaf of a bread is the crumb structure crumb structure what is the grain and texture of the crumb, uh, crumb? what is the color of the uh, crumb what is the aroma what is the taste of the bread these are some of the internal characteristics which we should look for if our bread meets all these predetermined specifications that means the bread is good and we should put it in the market for sale but all the time we should adhere to these specifications so that we maintain the quality of the product and we get uh, uh, customers attracted towards our uh, main bakery uh, that's all about the quality in the next class i will take up about some of the faults in the bread and how those uh, faults they can be removed Thank you. Thank you so much.